What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And uh, this weekend's a little bit of a heavier topics. But look, I know a lot of eyes are on the situation here in the United States, as well as I have a large group of viewers in Canada that are asking me to cover this. And like, I mean, they asked so nicely. I mean, how am I supposed to say no? I mean, I've got like more maple syrup than I'll ever know what to do with now. And I love that. You know, and, and I'm just a fat man. And so what what am I supposed to do? I, ha I have to, right? Now, Trudeau's green shirts or whatever have now ascended upon the crowds of what I can only see. I can only really declare as peacefully gathering. Uh, and yesterday uh, decided to uh, send the horses in on a disabled woman in a, like a hover round slash walker run her over. Now, the media, Canadian media, desperately trying to portray these people as uh, troublesome and uh, bad actors, but I've just not seen any clips of it. I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying they keep saying these truckers are so evil. All I do is see them parked. I see them have bounce houses and singing and shoveling the sidewalks and, and things of that manner. So I'm going to go over a couple of, of clips that I've seen. Uh, from interactions yesterday and uh, because of the nature of this video i'm really happy to have a a sponsor to help pay the bills if you don't have a vpn yet i've got a massive discount from private internet access check this out huge shout out to this video sponsor private internet access hey october is Cybersecurity month and they've got an amazing offer for you it's 2021. if you don't have a vpn yet there are several reasons why you want to sign up today one, you can browse anonymously. Keep your browsing habits to yourself. You can keep your data away from big tech so that they can't resell it. And you can access region lock content so you can open up a whole new catalog of online content to enjoy, whether it's anime or movies that might not be available in your area. You can get at it using a VPN. And the VPN I use on my phone, my tablets, my PCs, and my laptops is private internet access. And they've given an amazing offer. It's just $1.98 a month with four months free with a three-year subscription. If you haven't signed up today, use my link in the description or pin comment down below to get private internet access today. Now I wanna start with um, the elderly woman. There was a lot of information flying around Twitter yesterday that she did not survive this, but it appears that I want to point out that she has uh, very luckily. Now, there's conflicting reports, but some people say that, um, you know, have come forward that they are her family members. Uh, we'll get into that. Mounted uh, Mounties of police in Ottawa in, endeavored to clear protesters with the Freedom Convoy from the streets on Friday following a charge by mounted police officers into a crowd of protesters. Conflicting reports have emerged as to the condition of an elderly woman who was trampled. According to Fox News contributor Sarah Carter, the woman uh, may have passed away at the hospital. Others are reporting that she was merely injured. Based on the available footage online, it appears at least one other protester also trampled under the feet of the horse you can see here one person underneath in the picture if you're if you're listening to audio this is just a picture here uh, and then you see the elderly woman here and what looks like a hover round type thing also get getting run over and uh, uh by the way don't blame the horses i don't blame the horses they're just doing what they're supposed to do i don't know if people were throwing things at these horses or if people were you know i don't i haven't seen any video footage of that but I have seen situations where people do that and um, the horses do not react well. And I will always side with the horses. But, uh, you know, there's conflicting reports. One woman says that they're, that, um, you know, she's only has suffered minor injuries. Other people say she didn't survive it. Um, the elderly woman is heard saying, we are a peaceful protest shortly before the incident. People began to scream as mountain pol mounted police officers uh, mowed over the elderly woman with their horse. I'm not clicking on that guy's uh, tweets. An initial tweet from the Ottawa PD said that someone had thrown a bicycle at the horses in an attempt to injure it. I don't know. There's apparently, uh, you know, we see Maria Oaks here. 
It was a mobility scooter, but she was still on it. And also, it doesn't appear that it was being thrown. You know, you see, I'm guessing you won't see this photo printed a lot of Canada's newspapers tomorrow. These things are are tough. We don't know what happened directly before it. What, what we don't know what happened after it. There's other videos happening now. Trudeau's green shirts have arrived. You see these people. Um, we'll take a look if we're watching the video. You've got some men in riot gear. You are the last fucking thing. Things broken promises. So you see this crew. They're all wearing heavy winter gear. Um, then you see in another video, um, Alexandria Lavoy of Rebel News was bested. I don't know what that means. And uh, hit with a projectile at point blank. She was also test gassed. I don't know what that means. Um, but you can see this in this video. What was that on the ground they're picking up? Look at this. They're they're smashing them with wooden wooden poles. It's tough to see. Um, it doesn't really seem like the, the protesters are pushing back too much. It seems like you're seeing a lot of these people on the line using wooden staffs, like this guy, cramming it into people. Look at this. Uh, if you're watching the video, you see the police line. It looks like a weapon. Two weapons are on the ground. And then this large fat man is just bashing people with... Uh, there appears to be some gas in the air. Um, and by the way, also credential press. She was hit three times with the club and then hit with a, t a tear gas canister uh, from point blank range. Yeah, you can see the outline of the canister. I'm not exactly sure, you know, are we only seeing one side of this? You might, you know, skeptics might say, hey, we're only seeing one side of this, but like... Where is the other side? This is Twitter. If there was another side, we'd be seeing it. It would be plastered all over, all over the place. Now, Justin Trudeau is speaking live, uh, initially talking about blaming the blockades, putting the blame at the feet of Americans. Certainly Americans have a lot of um, interest in what's going on here. Because we can identify, excuse me, we can identify with the struggle. We also see several times here, the actual Ottawa PD tweeting out, police did not use gas on protesters yesterday. They have not used it on yesterday. They have not used it on them today. But you see plenty of pictures right here, somebody firing a canister. Now, here's another picture of another officer firing a canister. Here's another picture of another officer firing a canister. If you look at the video, there's very clearly, there's, they're literally lying. Actually, I wonder if, um, let's see how that tweet, uh, let's see how that tweet has aged. I'm just wondering. And again, you see, once again, we're seeing young children being brought to the front this is dangerous. I'm putting children at risk. Um, okay. So why? Why? I mean, you're the ones that seem to be bringing like massive, massive um, uh, force to the event, doesn't it? You see, one protester launched the canister and was arrested. PD will be with the public safety in mind. Police remind protesters to remain peaceful. So they blamed it on the protesters. I don't know what you do. And you see here, please note, no one has been seriously injured or passed away in today's police action. Safety is our priority. And then it's literally on video and everybody pointing them, uh, them using excessive force. It's funny how like, where are all the defund the police people now? Isn't that funny? 
all the defund police people, all the um, all these uh, communists who are like, uh, you know, anarchists and stuff. Suddenly, when you're talking about enforcing coup restrictions, they're literally nowhere to be found. Why isn't AOC standing full throat with these people? I mean, seriously, these people are all frauds. Just because you agree with the lockdowns, now suddenly you're like, well, actually, actually, you could see them here. This was happening at a bicycle, was thrown at the feet of the horses, them getting absolutely destroyed. Maybe it was just that person was scared for their life because they were about to get run over by a 2,000 pound animal. And I'm not seeing any videos of, of these protesters being the aggressors. Now, again, I am not going to sit here and say that they, it doesn't happen or hasn't happened or anything like that. But I, of all the videos that come across tw uh, Twitter, I'm not seeing it. I can't imagine Twitter would be, uh, you know, wanting to hide any of this. It's weird to me um, that so many of these people that pretend to stand up against authoritarianism... I mean, here's, here's them using pepper spray right here in the picture. It's a little different than tear gas, but... The operation appeared to be a final salvo in the government's effort to break up the weeks-long protests that have roiled Canada's capital. Truckers arrested at, at Pew Point as police are now advancing on people who are there peacefully gathered, from what I can see. Again, if they're doing something terrible off-camera or something, look... I don't care if you're at a peaceful if you're at a peaceful protest and you throw something or you hit an officer, you deserve to be arrested. Like that's that's the way it works. But from what I'm seeing is a lot of people who are just standing there and saying we're not we're not going to leave. They're the ones that are getting the worst end of it. Canada police trample civilians with horses uh, to crack down on convoy protest. Now, whoever's on this horse, I'm sure they didn't. I want to believe they didn't do it on purpose. But why were they advancing in the first place, right? My heart goes out to the people in Ottawa. I hope that they stay peaceful and that they record everything and they report on everything. Please say, please stay safe out there. If you're going to be down there, you know, I'll continue to report on it. Um, but please, please stay safe. I'm worried about you. Looks like that is the end of this topic and we'll move on to the next.